Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense, coming at you guys with an awesome fragrance haul today. Five different fragrances, lots and lots to talk about. I got these fragrances from fragrancebuy.ca. I'm gonna show you what they are here in just a second, and I've got a link down below to Fragrance Buy's website in case you're unaware of them. Fantastic niche and designer fragrance discounter. Everything there authentic, prices are awesome, shipping is great, top notch. And you are gonna wanna stay tuned here because some of these fragrances are extremely, extremely hard to find and go for crazy prices. And I've been talking to the guy that runs Fragrance Buy. They're gonna get some of these back in stock and you're gonna wanna know about that. So let's jump into it. All right, let me go ahead and just show you the fragrances here. So like I said, five different ones. First up, we've got Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled Oud Saffron. This one in the US or North America has been really hard to find since this came out. Actually, nearly impossible to find. So this one I am very excited to have. Up next, a little bit of a cheapie from Latafa, Amir Al Oud Intense Oud. This one I hear smells really similar to a popular fragrance, so I'm gonna see if that is the case. We've got Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir. This is the Eau de Parfum. Didn't have this one, so really excited to have that. Isi Miyake Noir Ombre. This one right here has been close to impossible to find for a good price for a long time. People on eBay were selling this for upwards of $300 per bottle. And uh, yeah, this one has become a bit of a unicorn. So that one, really excited. And then Eau Capitale from Diptyque Eau de Parfum. Now of these, I would say these two right here are the ones that I'm most excited for in the sense that they've just been impossible to find. And there are some other fragrances that Fragrance Buy is getting in stock that are also like this level of hard to find. Like I said, I've been talking to the person that runs Fragrance Buy and this should be, depending on when you're watching this, back in stock on the website as of when this video goes live. Now it sells out like this. So when people find out that this is back in stock, it's going to sell out like that. Like I said, people are just gonna run and grab it and, and go. He did tell me that there are more coming back in stock. So if you're watching this and you've been wanting to buy this and you go to the website and it is showing sold out, put in your email address there. There's like a little place where you can put it in and it says notify me, do that. And then when this comes back in stock, you will be sent an email, but you're gonna have to be quick on the trigger because like I said, it sells out super fast. If it's already showing sold out as of when you're watching this, do the notify me thing, but be aware that when it comes back in stock, you need to buy it immediately. And also just really quickly, Galleria Parfums, the ones I creatively directed, those are also on Fragrance Buy now, and they're up at 205 Canadian instead of 205 US, so you can save a little bit of money if you buy them through there. And also there's a loyalty program through Fragrance Buy, so you can gather up enough sprays on the website to get like a 10% off coupon or free shipping or stuff like that. So you could hypothetically do that and save even more if you wanted to buy those that way. Let's finally get into these. I'm gonna have to go through this really quickly. So apologies, I'm not gonna do the usual spraying on skin and the open and let it dry down a little bit. We're just gonna bust right through these. Starting off with Oud Saffron. I'm gonna show you guys a really quick look at the presentation and then spray the fragrance and move on to the next one. So here is your box. If you're familiar with the Hugo Boss Boss Bottle line, gonna be really familiar looking to you. And here is your bottle for Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Oud Saffron. Boss Bottled Oud is a fragrance that I absolutely love. Talked about it a whole bunch on this channel. And then uh, Boss Bottled Oud Aromatic was very nice as well. Hopefully this one is as good or better. Oh, I really like that. That is nice. This is just the most simplistic way to break this down, but it smells like Boss Bottled Oud with additional rose and saffron thrown in. Huge surprise. So basically what they've done here is they've taken Boss Bottled and they've added the holy trifecta notes together. So oud, rose, saffron, they don't always get put together. That's what they've done here. 
and this is really, 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 really nice. I will probably review this at some point in the future, but I have to keep moving or else this video is gonna be way too long. But first impression, very positive. I like that more off of uh, just initial impressions than I did Oud Aromatic. I placed that one right up there with the original Boss Bottle Oud. Smells really nice. Now, if you're not a fan of Rose Oud Saffrons, maybe it wouldn't be as uh, good for you, but for me it is. Let's keep it moving, more Oud. It's got this sticker that I need to cut, but here's a quick look at the box for you guys. There we go. So like I said, this is Amir All Oud Intense Oud. There is also just an Amir All Oud. And years back, many years back, that one was being hyped as one of the best inexpensive Oud fragrances that you could buy. I actually bought it uh, way back when, but I never picked this one up. And here's a good look at the bottle for you guys. Ooh, cap is surprisingly heavy. I was thinking it was gonna be pretty lightweight, but no. And this one is supposed to smell similar to By the Fireplace by Maison Martin Margiela. So let's hope that it does. And that's actually a really good atomizer too. It does, it does actually. Wow, for the price, this is solid, this is good. This is a sugary, woodsy fragrance, vanilla, which of course by the fireplace has a lot of that uh, sort of essence to it where it's not really overly smoky. Yes, there's like a little touch of that, that smoky woodsy vibe to it, but it's more concentrated around that warmth, that sweetness, kind of inviting feel. And that's what you get right here. Even though this is called Emir Al Oud, Intense Oud, it's, it's not really an intense oud. It's not a, a kind of animalic, fecal, powerful, overbearing oud. That's not what you're getting here. It's actually more sweet, inviting, woodsy, and, and just warm more than anything. That is another one that smells really good, especially for the price. So, so far we're two for two here. Yeah, yeah, this is good stuff, I'm pumped. This is good. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and hit this one. I'm gonna go in the, I guess, in the order that I showed you guys everything. So Narciso Rodriguez for him, Blue Noir Eau de Parfum. Quick look at the box for you guys. Pretty simple, not a whole bunch going on. And this one has a really nice looking bottle from everything I've ever seen. So excited to get this one and put it in the collection. So here it is. Looks a little bit better in real life, I feel like, as this nice dark blue kind of uh, ring around the interior of the bottle where the glass is dark blue. So it looks really nice. And there it is. Yeah, it looks especially nice when you hold it up to the light. Yeah. On the back of the box here, it says this is mysterious and magnetic with amber notes, sensual musk, and addictive woods. So let's give it a spray on the old tester strip and see if that's the case. Narciso Rodriguez fragrances in general are really nice, typically overlooked a bit. You know, nobody ever compares Narciso Rodriguez to the heavy hitters in the men's designer realm, but they actually have really nice fragrances. This one's very clean. Sweet musk and clean woods, actually, is how this one smells. Really easy to wear, office safe. It leans more daytime. You could use it during the night as well, though. That little hint of warmth, sweetness, would help carry it through the evening. Definitely classy, sophisticated, gentlemanly kind of fragrance. It does have a soapy edge to it. Super easy to wear. This is completely inoffensive. There's, there's nothing about this that anybody could smell and be like, ooh, <laughs> it's, it's nice. Of the three fragrances, this one is the most versatile. I don't think it's close. This is far and away the most versatile of the three fragrances so far. And I don't, I don't know where I would place it with the three I've smelled so far either. So we'll just keep going. I think tentatively right now, Oud Saffron is my favorite. And then the other two are kind of neck and neck. You know, one of them being more clone type fragrance, kind of remove some points for that. But then the affordability aspect, you give it some points back. So I'm just kind of putting Narciso Rodriguez and Latafa kind of like this right now. It's time for this one. In case you're unaware of this fragrance for any reason, this one, is heavily hyped. People absolutely love the smell and yet it's so difficult to find. 
in the US. These popped up at TJ Maxx stores and then they were gone. And then that was that. <laughs> that was pretty much your chance to get them. On rare occasion, they'll pop back up at discounters, but they sell out as soon as they come in stock. So here's a quick look at the presentation for you guys. As you can see, it's a step up from your normal Isi Miyake presentation. Slides out like so, and there's your fragrance. And there's a good look at the bottle. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this one, you're probably asking, well, why was it hyped? The reason is because this fragrance for a designer release from Isi Miyake that really didn't have much hype behind it before people got their hands on it, the quality here is out of control. Let's go ahead and give it a spray. Oh yes. Yeah, this stuff is fantastic. So good. There's saffron in here, there's cinnamon, there's leather, there's amber. It's dark, it's sweet, it's a little bit spicy. You have all these different things going on. Mm. There's woodiness that gives it this really nice backbone. There's vanilla in there as well as it dries down. It sparkles. This is just, oh, this is a stunner. I dropped it, no. I've talked about this before. Isi Miyake has some fantastic, I'm talking awesome, cool weather fragrances. Fall and winter time, evening fragrances, they absolutely crush it, they kill it. One of the best designer houses for fragrances of those types. And your average person probably thinks of Isi Miyake as just low DC. You know, so they just think, hey man, summertime, yuzu, wow. But their best fragrances really are ones like this. Fall, winter, had it backwards, evening fragrances that make use of leather, sometimes incense, smoke, sweetness, resin, spices, they kill it. And this one right here, this one, right here. This is pretty much the best one. I love Pulse of the Night. It's fantastic. It's right up there toward the top. Or Ensemble, also really good. Noir Argent, fantastic. But this one, this one's the unicorn. And yes, it is really, really, really good. So if you're interested in that one, like I said, good luck. It's gonna sell out fast. Try to get yours. If it shows sold out already, put in your email address. He said that they were gonna get some more in. I don't know if that's, you know, the final final bit that they're getting in after the current amount that they have in. I, I don't know, but if you've been looking for it, this is as good a chance as you're ever gonna get to pick it up. Diptyque, let's check it out. Here's a look at the box. And this is a niche house that I really love. Absolutely, absolutely love this house. And there is your bottle. Love the way these Diptyque bottles look. All right. And this one gets compared a little bit to Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall. And there's a, a similarity. Not the same though. This one is uh, bright, a little bit fresher. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Portrait of a Lady. Complete masterpiece. Yeah, this is an awesome rose fragrance. Fantastic. You've got this this sparkle on the top, pink pepper, bergamot, giving you this almost rosy tinged spiciness off the top. A Little bit of that citrus freshness, juiciness, but not too much. And the rose really takes center stage right away. Kind of, kind of blooms like right in front of you. Fresh, lively, like with this nice pop, this nice energetic pop to it. I know that patchouli comes out more in this one as it dries down, but just that initial opening. God, it smells good. And this one is gonna lean a little feminine. I think it's unisex. I think a man can wear that, but you're gonna have to be comfortable wearing a rose-centric fragrance that does have a slight feminine lean to it. Quality though, right there. It's a really, really nice fragrance. So this haul turned out really well. Sometimes I have hauls that are not as good as I expected or hoped, but this one, this is a good haul. I'm really pumped about this one. Oud Saffron, exceeded expectations, smells great off the tester strip. Noir Ombre, awesome, awesome. This one right here, Miral Oud, Intense Oud, great, great alternative to buy the fireplace. This one smells fantastic. And then Blue Noir, you know what? This smells really good too. This has blue fragrance versatility. 
of course, I mean, the name, Blue Noir, the bottle. Uh, so not really going out on a limb there, but it's got that versatility, but it's grown up a little bit more too. You know, it's slightly more mature than some of the blue fragrances out there. And that soapy cleanliness that it has makes this one just a perfect office fragrance. That's how it smells to me. So again, fragrance by .ca. Um, Gallery of Parfums on there as well. Save some money if you want to pick those up and save even more money with the loyalty program. Be on the lookout for this. Like I said, there are some other fragrances on there that I have my eye on that are not easy to find anymore. So look through there. You can find some gems that are coming into stock like right now when this video goes live. In the comments below guys, let me know the coolest fragrance that you've picked up from Fragrance Buy. Let me know what it is. For me, as of right now, is this one. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.